How's it going, everyone? And welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Starr. And also, welcome back to my current subscribers. And if you're new here, welcome. Now, in today's video, I've got two 4Ks that I'll be showcasing in this video. The first title being Highlander. Now, I popped this in the other day, watched it, relived it, loved it. Looks better than ever here on 4K Ultra HD. Audios and visuals get a 9 out of 10, and the movie as a whole for me gets a 10 out of 10, because I absolutely love this movie. Now, Highlander, if you haven't seen this movie, it's a film from the 80s, 1986 to be specific. Uh, this is a fantasy action adventure film, non-linear, directed by Russell Mauki, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, also story uh, and screenplay by Gregory Wyden. And this stars Christopher Lambert as Connor Mac McLeod, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sean Connery as uh, Ramirez and Clancy Brown as the Kurgan and also Roxanne Hart as Brenda Wyatt who plays Christopher Lambert's love interest in this film. Now this was distributed by Warner Brothers, the Canon Group, part of Canon Films and also Columbia Pictures. Budget wise, this had a $19 million budget, but unfortunately bombed at the box office, only grossing $12.8 million, but it did gain a cult following in the years to come. Sporting sequels, TV series, even an animated series. I didn't know anything about this, but upon reading into this uh, movie and uh, post and pre movie, I yeah, discovered that. But yeah, it has a runtime of 111 minutes, uh, just under roughly two hours, I would say. Music by Michael Kamen, but it also shows, it also uh, additionally um, has a lot of music by Queen in this, in this movie, which I absolutely love Queen. I love their music. Phenomenal, Freddie Mercury, rest in peace. Such a phenomenal talent. But yeah, this uh, includes also uh, additional music by Queen in this, which I absolutely love. Uh, filmed in New York, but also filmed in Scotland as well. And I loved the, the contrast and the combination of the two. So yeah, synopsis wise, I'll just show you this real quick and then we'll get into the synopsis, but I'll one box this after, right after this. But yeah, synopsis wise, it's about Connor's character. Christopher Lambert's character. It's non-linear. It opens up with uh, Christopher Lambert's character. He's at this wrestling match at the start of the movie. Gets into a fight with another Highlander in a car park. Chops his head off because that's the only way you can kill other Highlanders. Highlanders are immortals. Um, anyways, and it shows Christopher Lambert's life in New York. But it also flashes back to kind of how he discovered he was a Highlander when he was back in Scotland fighting in, in the wars back then, the battles, and then when he was killed and how he came back from the dead and how everyone shunned him out of his Scottish village and how his wife got rid of him. Then he found another woman and then he runs into Sean Connery's character who tells him, you are a Highlander, you're immortal. Kind of runs him through it because Sean Connery is also another Highlander, another immortal. And then, yeah, but along the way, there is a lot of bad that comes with the good. And that's when Clancy Brown's character, the, the Kurgan comes in. He is the villain in this movie and he is trying to kill Christopher Lambert's character back in Scotland, thousands of years, because Highlanders never die. They obtain the age of, I think, their 30s. They don't age more than 30. Anyways, and then... Shows them in the future, in the uh, in the 80s, which is the present time. And yeah, and also Roxanne Hart's character, who's a scientist, but she's also um, an author. She has written novels on prehistoric medieval weapons. Kind of becomes infatuated with Christopher Lambert's character. They become a couple, and then yeah. And throughout the movie... 
Clancy Brown, the Kurgan, tries to kill Connor McLeod. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it because, uh, yeah, it's a long movie. Very, very hard to explain. But anyways, the next movie, phenomenal, phenomenal. I just popped this in not so long ago. And that movie is Rebel Without a Cause for the first time on 4K, 4K Ultra HD, starring Natalie Wood, James Dean, and Sal Minio. But yeah, this, yeah, phenomenal movie. First discovered this movie when I was a teenager. This is a coming-of-age romantic drama film from 1955, directed by Nicholas Ray. Also, the story is by Nicholas Ray. Uh, but, yeah, just a really, really amazing movie. And uh, rest in peace to James Wood. Sorry, James Dean, Natalie Wood, and uh, Sal Minio. They've all passed away, um, sadly, by tragic causes. James Dean died in a car accident. Natalie Wood drowned... On a, I think she was on a boat cruise, and Sal Minio was mugged and stabbed and killed um, in his when he was a bit older. I think he was around 37, from what I was reading. But yeah, very, very sad that they all died tragically, a lot of the cast of this movie. But it also has a runtime of 111 minutes, exactly verbatim from what I've read, 111 minutes. This had a $1.5 million budget and it grossed $4.5 million. So this was a success for the time in 1955 when it came out. That was a huge, huge profit because in comparison to uh, what today's uh, finances are, definitely uh, was a success for its time. Music by Leonard uh, Rosenman and also distributed by Warner Brothers as well. Audios and visuals get a 10 out of 10, spectacular, one of the best 4Ks I have ever seen in my life, along with Lord of the Rings, E.T., a couple of other ones, Saving Private Ryan, but yeah, amazing, Warner Brothers. I'm pretty sure a lot of the ones such as, I'm pretty sure um, the uh, Saving Private Ryan was from Warner Brothers, and I think also, uh, Lord of the Rings was as well, but I could be wrong. But yeah, Warner Brothers, they whenever they remaster something, they blow it way out of the ballpark with their releases. But we'll also unbox this in a little bit. Save the sticker there, because I'm a, I'm a nut when it comes to collecting these. Okay. So, yeah, really good uh, remaster. And the movie as a whole, I give this movie a 10 out of 10 as well. Very different, very cool movie. Uh, yeah, so synopsis-wise, this is an interesting coming-of-age movie. But it's about Jim Stark's character, played by James Dean. It opens up with James Dean's character, intoxicated, goes to the police station, doesn't really get along with his parents. His parents pick him up, kind of palm it off as, oh, he's just drunk, it's nothing. And then his parents are fighting. And you all know the uh, the quote from the movie, you're tearing me apart. That's one of the opening quotes from the movie. But at the same police station, Natalie Wood's character, her name is Judy in the, mo in the movie. She's there crying just hysterical telling the police that her father did this, her father did that to her. And uh, yeah, but then from there, um, also, yeah, Sal Minio's character, he's also there. So the trio of main actors in this movie are all at this police station. Anyways, from there shows James Dean. He's new to this school, shows him at the school. He gets picked on by... Judy's, uh, yeah, Natalie Wood's character in the movie because she's with a guy, but she really likes James Dean. And, you know, all these problems start with the woman in these movies. It's very, um, it's very cliche, but yeah. Anyways, then it goes from there to an excursion. They go to the, uh, the, the planetarium. I think that's what it's called, or I'm just quoting South Park. I don't know if that's the actual name, but yeah, they go to the, uh, where they see the, um, Virtual stars on the ceiling, school excursion, James Dean's there. That's where he gets into a knife fight with the other group, Natalie Wood's group of friends. And 
knife fight, they puncture his tires, then from there kind of shows them drag racing, playing chicken. And then towards the end of the film, the climax in the third act is James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Salminio, they're at this house, I think it's an abandoned house from memory. And the cops come there and it's a standoff between the three friends and the police. And that's where it kind of goes really, really bad for them. But I'm going to end this part of the video here so we can get into the unboxing and then we'll do the outro. Come along with me for the journey, folks. Let's go. Rolling. Highlander. For the first time on 4K Ultra HD here in Australia by Studio Canal. This is part of the Classics Remastered series starring Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery. Rest in peace, Sean Connery. There can only be one. This is a classic film, and if you haven't seen this movie, highly, highly recommend you watch it, because this is an original story. The sequel to this, I know there was a couple sequels, not really the greatest, but it's one in the morning now that I'm shooting this, and I'm gonna watch this right now don't know what it looks like so we're doing the editing in reverse yeah Highlander beautiful beautiful artwork there I do own the blu-ray actually I own two copies on blu-ray I have the classics remastered on blu-ray then I have the original blu-ray that came out when this originally came out so that's a disc of I think I don't know, I know that's in the movie, but I don't know where, when it is in the movie. So yeah, all region and is there any reverse bar? Nope. So, hold this up here. You can see some of the special features. Here are the specs here. DTS HD Master Audio, 1986. And that is Highlander on 4K Ultra HD. Boom! Rebel Without a Cause, starring James Dean and Natalie Wood for the first time on 4K Ultra HD. Warner Brothers, 100 years. Now if I hold this close, you can read that there. Commentary, some of the specs there. So yeah, let's get this open. Take that off. Take that off. That's what the front looks like. Nice clear shot. James Dean in the infamous red jacket that he wears in the movie. This is a scene from the movie where he plays chicken with the other car. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen this movie. This is a picture at the end of the movie when they're staking out in this abandoned house. Pretty sure it's abandoned, but yeah. Now opening this up, this comes with the, so that is the 4K, that's a nice, that's an interesting color, I think. Yeah, that's gold. Gold 4K and just a really plain Blu-ray disc. Does that have any inside artwork? Let's take a look. Nope, no inside artwork. And uh, yeah, that is Room Without a Cause on 4K Ultra HD. So that's it for this video, everyone. Well, what can I say? Two really great movies here for the first time on 4K here in Australia. Definitely pick them up if you have a chance. I know I'm a little late to the party, but unfortunately, I don't live in Mummy and Daddy's basement and they don't go buying me everything. But having said that, stay tuned because my next video is a banger is going to be a bang, I should say, because I picked up yesterday the Rocky box set on 4K here in Australia. And this was a very hard one to find. But having said that, I uh, swallowed my pride and I picked this up for $64.98 from JB Hi-Fi, which only actually has Rocky 1 to 4. I don't know why they didn't put the fifth one in here, 
but I really wanted to watch these movies on 4K, so stay tuned for this review. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it will be great. But having said that, this video is finished. So, I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment me down below with any questions you may have. And subscribe if you haven't. Because a lot of people that watch my videos, they're not subscribed to this channel. And I don't know what it is, but this is the best channel on YouTube for uh, movie reviews. Forget those other fools. This is the channel where a family message me. Talk amongst yourselves. You know, let's be a community here because I want people to feel welcome here. Doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, you're all welcome on my channel. All my subscribers, I appreciate it. And any newcomers, just welcome you with open arms. But having said that, this video is done. And if you have subscribed, thank you all for supporting this channel. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's reach 350 subscribers before the end of July. And that's it for this video, everyone. Mike Star signing off, saying have a good night, and I'll see you on my next video, folks. See ya!